Hello everybody, welcome back to Algorithm Simplified. Today we're going over leak code number 528, which is random pick with weight. In this question, we are given an array of integers called W. Our goal is to implement a weighted random index selection based on each value of W. Here is an example. If W were the following array, so in total here we have the sum of 15. Index 0 would have 1 out of 15 chance of being picked. Index 1 would have 3 out of 15 chance to be picked. Index 2 would have 2 out of 15 chance to be picked. And index 3 would have 9 out of 15 chance to be picked. The solution I will go over today is the cumulative sum and binary search approach. Let us use the same W example as before for simplicity. Instead of representing each index's probability of being picked as a fraction, we represent the same value using a range of cumulative sums. A cumulative sum is the value of every single W value added from index 0 until the current index inclusive. For the case of w, the cumulative sum of index 0 would be just 1 because that is its own value so far. The cumulative sum of index 1 would be the cumulative sum previously added with its current value giving us 4. The cumulative sum of index 2 would therefore, by the same logic, be the previous cumulative sum of 4 added with 2, giving us 6. And similarly, the cumulative sum of index 3 would give us 15, from the previous cumulative sum of 6 being added with the current value of 9. So if we were to pick some random integer between 1 and the sum of w inclusive, here the sum of w is 15. Let's call that random integer r. We pick r with equal weight, meaning that r has an equal probability to be 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, or 15. Now if r were 1, then it would fall in index 0's cumulative range. It happens to be that since there is only one value possible, that is a 1 out of 15 chance of occurring. If r happened to be either 2, 3, or 4, that would fall into index 1's cumulative range, giving us a 3 out of 15 chance of occurring. If r were to be either 5 or 6, it would fall under index 2's cumulative range, giving us a 2 out of 15 chance for index 2 to be selected. And finally, if it were any number between 7 and 15 inclusive, then it would fall under index 3 range. And since there are 9 such numbers, there is a 9 out of 15 chance of R being in index 3's cumulative range. So effectively, using cumulative sums, we've implemented random picking based on weight. Now in order to optimize this for our algorithm, we will use binary search instead of linear search on all the cumulative sum ranges in order to determine where R resides. Let's take a look at how that works in our coding section. If you have made it this far in the video and you like what you see, it would help the channel greatly if you could subscribe and like the video. If you have additional comments or suggestions for what you would like to see next, please leave a comment down below. Without further ado, let's get into the question. Our solution for cumulative sum range and binary search 
we will need three things in our init function. First, the value of the length of w, set as n. Second, an array of cumulative sums for each i index in w. Lastly, the total sum. Note that the cumulative sums and total sum calculations are done by taking an initial variable cumulative sum initialized with zero, then doing a for loop through the range of n, where we add the value of each integer accordingly to the cumulative sum. We update the cumulative sum's index value to that cumulative sum so far. At the end, the total sum is the cumulative sum after we've looped through everything. Now that we're finished with init, let's move on to our binary search implementation for pick index. We start with r being a random integer between 1 and the total sum inclusive. Here we use the random library. Then we initialize left and right pointers to be 0 and n minus 1, being the inclusive range of w. While the left is less than the right, we perform binary search. We declare the middle value, the middle index, as left plus right minus left floor divided by 2 instead of left plus right floor divided by 2 to prevent overflow in case left and right pointers are really large integers. Now there are three possible cases. First, if r, the random integer we picked, is equal to the cumulative sum of index at mid, then we return mid. The second scenario is if this randomly picked r is less than our cumulative sum at mid. In that case, we cannot declare that right is equal to mid minus 1, but we have to say that right is equal to mid, because as the cumulative sum of an index is the upper bound for what it could be, there could be a scenario where r is supposed to be within the range of mid, but mid is just the upper bound and r is not. So we write right is equal to mid, not right is equal to mid minus 1. In the last case, however, the logic is slightly different. When r is greater than the cumulative sum at mid, it has to be that the left pointer is greater than mid, in this case, mid plus 1, because as the cumulative sum of an index is the upper bound for what it could be, if r is greater than the upper bound, there's no way that mid could be the answer. So left is equal to mid plus 1. Once we're done with the loop, we return the left pointer. As you can see, the answer is accepted. In terms of runtime, the pick index being binary search is only O of log n. However, calculating the cumulative sum and total sum is O of n process. For storing the cumulative sum, we need O of n storage. So in total, it is a O of n time and O of n memory solution.